Whether it's your first time boating or whether you consider yourself an expert, a powerboat is an excellent choice of vessel to enjoy some time on the water. Taking the proper precautions can keep yourself and others safe. Wearing a life jacket is the single best thing you can do to prevent drowning while boating or swimming. Regardless of your swimming experience, a properly fitted US Coast Guard approved life jacket should be worn at all times. You must have one USCG approved wearable life jacket for every person on your vessel. Remember, life jackets must be US Coast Guard approved, properly fitted, appropriate for your activity, and in good condition. When not worn, a wearable PFD must be readily accessible. It should not be stored below decks or under a seat laden with equipment. We highly recommend children to be wearing a life jacket while boating. Be sure to check the state requirements. Every state has specific age requirements for PFD wear. It's a good idea to assign a parent or guardian to keep an eye on all children on board. Children's inexperience, size, and weight make them more vulnerable while boating. Make sure children are properly seated when the boat is underway. It should be your utmost priority to keep them safe. As the boat operator, it is your job to operate safely and responsibly. Every state has specific boating education requirements. Before you embark on your trip, check the state-specific laws. Remember that it is your responsibility, no one else's, to learn about proper boat operation, communications, and the rules of the road before going out on the water. Familiarize yourself with your vessel. Every boat is unique in how it operates, maneuvers, and runs. Consult your rental agent before leaving the dock, and they will show you specific vessel information. No matter what kind of boat you operate, there are important rules that must be followed. Negligent operation can have fatal consequences. Here are some of the most important safety precautions you can take to keep yourself and your passengers safe. Before starting an engine, make sure you've already attached the engine cutoff switch to you, your clothing, or your life jacket. As long as you're at the operator station, this should be attached at all times. The purpose of the engine cutoff switch is to turn off the engine if the operator inadvertently leaves the helm. Operate your boat at a safe speed where you can maintain control at all times. Refrain from using excessive speed, especially when in the vicinity of other boats or dangerous waters. Remember that one of the main differences between operating a vehicle on land versus in the water is there are no brakes on a boat. Even after you place the throttle in neutral, the boat will continue to coast forward. Do not allow passengers to ride on the bow, seatbacks, gunnel, or the transom. Practice safe water ski and tow sport practices. A good rule of thumb is, it takes three to ski. One of the most common and fatal negligent behaviors is operating a boat under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Alcohol use is the leading known contributing factor in fatal boating accidents. Boating and drinking don't mix. Be a smart and responsible boater. Operating a boat has rules, just like driving a car. Before spending time on the water, be sure you have the proper knowledge and confidence in boating navigation rules. Familiarize yourself with common boating terms. The bow is the front of the boat. The stern is the back of the boat. The port is the left-hand side of the boat when facing the bow from the inside of the boat. And the starboard is the right-hand side of the boat. When another boat is coming at you head on, keep to your right or starboard. If you are passing or overtaking a boat, you should pass on the left or port side of the other vessel. Be a courteous and cautious boat operator. In general, power-driven vessels should keep out of the way of sailboats and human-powered vessels such as canoes, paddleboards, or kayaks, while also adhering to their duty to avoid collisions. The human-powered vessels have the same duty. If you are in danger, utilize a sound signal, whistle, or horn on your boat to warn those nearby. Consult your rental location on recommended safety protocol. Maintain a proper lookout at all times. Depending on the size of the boat, you may need someone on the bow and stern to watch for all hazards. Every boat has a maximum weight and person capacity. Overloading your boat can cause your boat to capsize. Follow these capacity labels. Stow all gear in a secure place so it isn't a potential hazard. If you're renting a powerboat, you're likely looking forward to water towing sports. 
both the boat operator and the skier need to be aware of the level of responsibility and attention required to safely participate in toe sports. It's important to remember that all participants in the sport must wear a U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket that has been properly fitted and is designed for their sport. It takes three to ski is the policy of this rental company. This means in addition to the boating operator and the person being towed, you should have a lookout keeping an eye on the tow sport participant while the operator looks ahead. The operator and lookout need to keep the person in view while they are being towed. When the participant reboards, turn the bow of the boat towards them and turn off the engine well before the participant is near the boat until they are safely on board. Carbon monoxide is an odorless, colorless, and tasteless gas. It can accumulate in dangerous concentrations around boats. All gasoline engines and generators produce carbon monoxide. Always turn off the engine when anchored or not moving to reduce exposure to carbon monoxide. Symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning include irritated eyes, nausea, dizziness, and weakness. Seek medical attention immediately if these symptoms suddenly occur. The awareness zone includes the front, sides, rear, and swim platform, as well as the extended 30 feet behind and all around a boat. Never enter the awareness zone in the water until the boat motor has been turned off and stopped moving and you have counted to 10. The propeller takes up to 10 seconds to stop moving. Always anchor in designated safe areas away from high traffic areas. Always anchor from the bow of the boat rather than the stern or sides. Take care of the environment around you. If you boat it in, boat it out, and leave nothing behind. Please do not litter. Pontoon in deck boats are a very popular vessel of choice and can provide a great home base for swimming, sunbathing, and other recreational activities. Here are a few pontoon specific safety tips. Never allow a passenger to ride on the platform at the front of the boat. A slip and fall between the pontoons will funnel you directly into the propeller. Be sure to follow the weight limit and do a head count to ensure the safety of your passengers. We want you to be around for the next adventure. When swimming, make sure the boat engine is turned off and the boat is anchored. It is recommended that you continue to wear a life jacket when swimming unless you are in a designated swim area. Always have a responsible water watcher, even for adults and good swimmers. The more time you spend on the water, the better boater you will become. Being safe on the water depends on you. Happy boating!